Hey everybody, welcome to Two Boys Cooks. I appreciate you joining us today. I've got to give a quick shout out to my grandma, Mama Jean. She went to Avery Island down South Louisiana. She got this Tabasco hat from where they make the Tabasco sauce. So thank you, Mama Jean, I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to get my Kamado Joe back here fired up, folks. I haven't used it in a while. I've got the Big Joe. I've got some uh, mesquite hardwood lump on there. And we're going to throw some mesquite wood on there as well because mesquite goes really good with beef. I've got me two slabs of beef ribs here folks these are beef plate short ribs you see i got two slabs here you got four bones per slab y'all check it out we still got a lot of meat on here man so these are these are looking really nice they're kind of pricey too uh 4.79 a pound it's a little over seven and a half pounds so it set me back a little over 36 bucks i'm gonna take them out of this cryovac bag we're gonna bring them inside rinse them and we're gonna throw some rub on here shortly hadn't figured out which rub i'm gonna use yet but we'll we'll see what we got be back shortly, folks. Y'all stick around. This has been going about 25 minutes. I got a nice little fire going right in the middle. Here's that real mesquite wood that I've got right here. I'll throw that in there, just like so. I'll put on my heat deflector. There we go, it just sits in there. I'm gonna go on and put in my grill grates here. Close the lid, set my bottom vent to about a quarter of the way open. It's good to be smoking on my, uh, there you go, I guess that'll work. Open that up all the way, well, I'm going to open this up about a half inch or so, and I'm going to get the daisy wheel all the way open. Y'all can see that, I'm not sure. So, we're going to let it come up to about 250 or so, and I may have to adjust the top vent to maintain 250, but let me go get these ribs ready. Now, as y'all know, I like to use a little Worcestershire on my beef. And I'm not going to do anything to the back side. It's still got the membrane on. And if you've ever tried removing the membrane off of uh, beef ribs, you know that's not a pleasant experience. So, I'm not worried about the back side. But I am going to make sure that I've got Worcestershire all over this other side here. That's some nice looking ribs. All right, for the rub. I'm using this as the uh, Heaven Made Products. This is their Texas Best Beef Brisket Rub. So uh, this is good stuff, folks. Uh, I've used this before in the past on some beef. It's excellent. Oh, and don't forget, Texas Made, uh, HeavenMadeProducts.com. Go there and uh, put in promo code TROY20, T-R-O-Y-20. Save yourself 20% off your order. Let's throw this on here, and then let's let these ribs set up a little bit. So I'm just going to coat all sides. Pretty good coating. I mean, I'm going to coat uh, the sides, not the back side. So let me get this done and we'll bring you right back when we'll be ready to throw these on the Kamado Joe. We are sitting at 250 Fahrenheit. She's up the temp. I went ahead and uh, brushed down the grates, clean them up a little bit. See about a step there? Yep, we good. Let's go ahead and put these ribs on there, folks. Well, I cannot wait to try these out. And I'm not putting a water pan or anything under these. I'm just going to let them go just like this. Just like that. And on my vents, again, my bottom vent down here is about a quarter of the way open. The big opening up here, the big vent is closed, and the daisy wheel is about halfway open. So let's see if we can maintain. If I need to adjust it, I'm just going to adjust the uh, daisy wheel here to adjust the temp to try to maintain, again, about 250 Fahrenheit throughout the cook. We'll check back on it here in another hour, hour and a half, two hours, see what she's looking like. We are two hours into this cook, and the Kamado Joe is doing pretty good. It's about 265 right there. I did shut down the bottom vent just a little bit more. Oh my God, y'all check that out. Is that some fine looking ribbage? Ooh wee. Well, that is some gorgeous color. Nice pullback on the bones. All right, we're gonna let these keep going. And we'll check on them again here in a little bit. All right guys, let's check out these uh, ribs. It's been four, maybe four hours, 10 minutes. Let's check, see what they got. And, and look, man, I'm still having issues with my lid. It just, man, I'll tell you. Anyway. See what these are uh, looking at. These uh, these ribs are looking at 202. Oh man, these are probing real tender. 207. Yeah, these are these are super tender, folks. This one's a little bit more uh, difficult to go through, but still, it's 202, 203. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna let these rest in the kitchen, tinted in foil. 
for approximately 30 to 45 minutes. We'll show you cutting them up here shortly. Be right back. Folks, these ribs look absolutely amazing and they probe really tender. I can't wait to cut into these. Oh my gosh, I wish y'all could see how easy this is cutting through. Of course, we've got the uh, membrane on there. There we go. I think we got it. I think, I think we do, I think we do. Almost. There we go. I cut it from this side this time. The meat itself is like melting butter, boy. I'll tell you what, that is fine stuff. Whoo, lordy, lordy. I sure hope y'all can see how nice this is. This is fabulous, folks. Absolutely amazing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous, folks. Hmm, man. All right. I think I'm gonna go with this first one right here. Check that out, folks. You don't see that? Still got some juiciness about it. I hope that's coming through the camera. <laughs> it is, it's still juicy. Here's the bark. Check out that bark, man. Doesn't that look fine? That's what you get on brisket. And uh, that's what this rub will do for you. This brisket rub that I use from Heaven Made Products. Y'all need to check that out, that's some good stuff. Anyway, let's give this a try, folks. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's give this a try, folks. Here you go. Absolutely gorgeous, folks. I got the end piece over here, so I'm getting some bark. Love the bark, man. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, I've been sending pictures on Facebook. If y'all not following me on Facebook, y'all go check it out. Troy Cooks Good Food. Links down below. Hit show more. But uh, Daniel and also Gene, they both were like, man, I wish I could have, <laughs> you know, so so Daniel and Gene, this, this first bite's for you guys, man. I appreciate you checking out my uh, Facebook and follow me on there. And Gene Waddle, man, he's got his own channel. He does some singing and stuff. Y'all go check him out. I'll put his link down below. Wish I could smell this, wish you could taste it. But luckily, I'm here to do it for you. Let's give this a try, folks. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Oh, it's still really warm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, you talking about tender. Another bite. And that's tender. Good God. No. Oh. Let's come off the bone. Love the flavor of that brisket rub from Heaven Made Products. Seriously, folks, you gotta go check that out. That meat's so tender. Mmm. God, that's good. Mmm. Mm. Sorry to be teasing y'all like that. Man, that's a fine eat. Hope you check out some of the beef ribs like this. If you can find them, get them. They're really, really good, man. And uh, this one's for JB too. JB loves beef ribs. So JB, hope you watch this. And uh, y'all go check out Louisiana Cajun recipes. My buddy JB up in Louisiana, Baton Rouge. God, dog, that's good, man. Mm. Y'all like this? Can you give me a thumbs up? I'm fixing to go finish eating, folks. If you're not subbed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I got new videos coming up every Tuesday for cooking, and I got Thursday chats on Thursday. So I hope y'all check out both Thursdays and Tuesdays. But man, this is good. Mm. Anyway, hope you share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.